Hello booktube friends, it's Andrew here and I'm going to give you a review of Michelle Morgan's book The Ice Cream Blonde, The Whirlwind Life and Mysterious Death of Screwball Comedian Thelma Todd. Now I will admit I didn't know much about Thelma Todd going into this, I did know a little bit but not a huge amount. Thelma Todd appeared in over a hundred movies and she died at the age of 29 in mysterious circumstances. Now Michelle tells us a story from her birth right through to her death. Michelle is very well regarded um, a historian and biographer. She doesn't dwell and expand on scandals that Thelma may have encountered, but she will mention them. She will explain them, but she won't add, you know, any extras to it to make it sound even worse than it was. <clears throat> and this is why Michelle's very well regarded because she will just state the facts. Some people will think the facts don't make interesting reading, but with a character like Felt Thelma, it really does. She really was a wonderful woman, very friendly, very kind, normal, down to earth, who woman who just happened to become a movie star. And she was never as big as she should have been. You know, for 120 odd movies, she was mainly known for her short short subjects with Laurel Hardy and Zezu Pitts and Patsy Kelly. Um, when we get on to the death of Thelma Todd, Michelle gives us a lot of run up to it. A lot of backstory with the fact that Thelma Todd was receiving threatening letters for, leading up to her, her death. All the possibilities with the fact that the, there were gangsters that uh, were trying to, to open a gambling club in her cafe. So Michelle does um, explore all those um, avenues. She also takes a, look, a good look at the autopsy report and goes through all the evidence in that and gives you the opportunity to come to your own conclusion on what happened to Thelma Todd. It's quite disturbing. Thelma died of carbon monoxide poisoning in the garage um, above her cafe. It was very tragic. She had so much more to give. She could have been a great character actress as she aged. She would have made so many much, so many more wonderful movies and it is such a tragedy that she died when she did. The book is illustrated with a great photo section. Uh, which for, is from her own and other fans and collectors and historians basically archives. You look at that one over there. Look at her gorgeous hair. She did have really gorgeous hair. Um, And that's her cafe, if it focuses, uh, above what is now, on what is now Pacific Coast Highway. So I would, if you, if you're into your old Hollywood books and you love a biography, um, whether or not it's of a film star or a director, I would recommend you pick this up. It'll give you an insight to 20s and 30s Hollywood, not just about Thelma Todd, but what was going on generally. And it is a tragic story of a wonderful girl and she deserves very much to be remembered. Beautifully written in Michelle Morgan's own style, which is beautifully done. I gave this five out of five stars and I'm very, very quite stingy with my five out of five stars. If you've watched other reviews, I get very excited if I give a five out of five. And Thelma Todd by Michelle Morgan definitely, definitely deserves a five out of five. So if you're into your Hollywood history and you don't know anything about The Ice Cream Blonde, go pick this up. It's a fabulous read. Well, that's my thoughts on Thelma. If you've read it, again, leave your comments below. If you haven't, go pick it up. It's a great read. It really is. You will really enjoy it. Give you an idea of Hollywood as it was back when it was the golden city that it was when it was where all the stars were, where it, when it was Hollywood in its golden age. It's Thelma Todd's era and it's fantastic. So if you've liked this review, give me a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.